Hi there, it's Martinos here from My Lifestyle Dream, and today I am going to give you a quick tour of Orbit Kit. So, just for those of you in there who don't know what Orbit Kit is, this is some software that people use in the print on demand industry, and it helps you to easily upload your designs to multiple print-on-demand providers. So you can see the list here from Redbubble, TeePublic, Teespring, Spreadshirt, Society6, Cafe Press, Fine Art America, Designed by Humans, Printful, and a lot more. Um, so all of these guys, if you didn't have this Orbit Kit software, you would need to go into each of these print-on-demand print, provide, print -on -demand providers, upload your product, write your product listing, um, your keywords, configure it, publish it, set it right on all of the products, and then publish it before you can have that visible in your store. Orbit Kit takes away a lot of the pain for you and basically serves as a sort of central, um, a, a central tool to publish all of your designs to these different portals. So um, I'm going to give you a quick demo of what this looks like and um, hopefully you'll get an idea of um, how the overall process looks and how you'd upload a design um, into OrbitKit. So the first thing you'll see you come into the OrbitKit dashboard is that you have a list of all of your print-on-demand providers here and how many ex um, designs you've uploaded to each of these places and the status of each of those designs, how many are waiting, how many are publishing, which ones are broken and which ones are updating and stuff like that. Uh, first thing you need to do is for each of the print-on-demand providers you need to set up a, uh, a venue in OrbitKit, so these are all individual venues as you can see here and for each of these venues you basically need to go in and um, upload a design for example you upload a design into Cafe Press add that to all of the relevant products in Cafe Press and then you copy the URL from that Cafe Press design into OrbitKit and, that we, and then OrbitKit will use that as a template to add any designs that you add in the future and push that directly on the same products within Cafe Press or whichever venue you set up. I'm not going to take you through the process of setting up a venue. It's fairly straightforward. It is really the same as setting up a product um, on one of the print-on-demand providers and then you'll see them all added to your dashboard like this. Um, one other thing to understand is something called archetypes. So an archetype is basically a um, collection of venues or products that you create. So for example, I've got a, uh, an archetype called Dark Colours here, which has Cafe Press, Spreadshirt, Society6, all of these different print providers here. Um, it has all of their blueprints set up for these guys, and it means when I upload a design into OrbitKit, it will automatically push that product to all of these different print providers here based on the settings I set up on that blueprint. For example, all of these will only work, will be uh, products with dark backgrounds, so you can only add light designs on them. These ones, for example, are for light colours, so you can set them up how you want. You could set up, for example, just uh, t-shirts or just hoodies or just um, uh, mugs or something like that, but I prefer to choose uh, just by the colours that I'm setting up. All right, so let's go into the design part of OrbitKit. And what we're going to do is click on the um, Upload tab here to upload a design. So <clears throat> I've got a test file. I'm going to drag that into OrbitKit and click on the Start Upload button. So it's taken that from my desktop. It takes a few seconds to upload, and you will see now my design has been uploaded into OrbitKit called test file. If I click onto that, you'll get the details of this individual file. So there's the PNG there, and you have the details of, um, of the file. So what you want to do is first of all create a title. So this title is the title which will be pushed out 
to all of your products in the different print-on-demand uh, platforms. So let's pretend this was a, um, a St. Patrick's Day shamrock design. So I would call this twenty twenty Saint Patrick's Day Leprechaun oh, girls and boys because it's a child's show. <clears throat> now you'll notice that I've put apparel here. Um now the reason I do that is because the um, in a lot of the print providers that I've set the blueprints that I've set up um, will be pushing the this design out onto not just shirts but onto mugs, onto hoodies, onto uh, iPhone cases, all kinds of different things. So actually, I shouldn't even put apparel. I should put St. Patrick's Day design for girls and boys. And usually what the print provider would do is that they add the product type on the end of it. So I just leave that as it is. Um, and then the description is design features a leprechaun with the funny text kiss me. something like that. So then your tags you can add would be uh, St. Patrick's Day shirt. So St. Patrick's Day, St. Patrick's Day 2020 um, leprechaun, uh, leprechaun shirt, um, kids you get the idea so you can just add all of your different tags here now different print providers allow a different number of tags some of them up to 50 some some of them only um, allow uh, five or so so just make sure that you can reorder your tags here just make sure that the most important tag for you is at the front of this list at uh, this list so for example let's put leprechaun shirt there and that will make sure it's included in all of them. You can also translate the listing into uh, German, French and Spanish and when you're happy with your design all you need to do is set the archetype so let's say I want this to go on dark colours um, I would click it there and that's all that I need to do and then you will see that when I click when I go back to my dashboard You'll see uh, in waiting, is my test file here. So when it gets through all of these other designs, it will then upload my test file here to dark, to the dark colors print providers, which will be Society6, uh, as you can see, see them on here, dark designs will be going to Cafe Press, Fine Art America, Society6, Spreadshirt, Spreadshirt EU, Teespring, Zazzle, all of those different print providers. Um, and that's pretty much all that you have to do. You just um, set them up. Uh, there's a little bit of work in setting up your venues and archetypes, but after that, you just upload your designs into Or OrbitKit and away you go. Now, I usually do this in bulk, so I usually upload around 100 designs at a time into um, into Orbit Kit, 
And the, uh, the, the great thing with OrbitKit is it's got an import export function as well. So you can import your designs, um, then it will export a spreadsheet for you and you can just add all of your um, descriptions and keywords that you've probably already created for another print provider and um, upload that into OrbitKit and it will automatically populate those onto your designs. So um, that's it. Um, just a quick look at the pricing for OrbitKit. Um, starts at $35 uh, a month and that allows you to upload five different designs per platform per day. So that's five designs per spreadsheet plus five designs at um, Cafe Press, five designs at uh, Spreadsheet EU, five designs at Redbubble, five designs at T Republic, uh, etc. etc. Or the Pro Plan, which goes up to 20 designs per platform. Um, either way, it's pretty good value. I've been using this for about um, 18 months now, and um, I have to say that the money that I've invested in it, I've made more more than that back in the sales through these other print providers. It doesn't take much time to do. Just simply upload your designs. It pushes them out to these other platforms. And it's just another really handy piece of your print on demand arsenal that you should be using to make a few extra bucks on the side. OK, um, I hope that was useful for you. Any further questions, uh, reach out to me. I'll put a link in uh, the description below to uh, to get you to sign up to Orbit Kit. So you can, uh, have a, like it says here, a 30 day money back uh, trial. Um, and any, anything else to do with print on demand or making money online, hop on over to uh, mylifestyledream.com. Okay, cheers guys, bye.